What are you? I'm a bird. Crow's the name. At your service, etc. You're Zoe, right? Uh, right. How did you... How did you know? Got a friend of yours outside. April. She sends her regards. We're breaking you out. Exciting stuff, isn't it? You can... talk. Just noticing that, huh? Right. You're from Stark. Talking bird's a big deal for you. Trust me, it really isn't. No? No. Of course, most birds don't speak a human language, but bird speak is a lot more complicated. Most bird brains can't hold both, so I've specialized. The world's a lot less annoying now that I don't understand what all these birds are going on about all the time. So, what's the plan? The plan? I don't have a plan. I thought you were breaking me out. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just a messenger, see? And I don't want to get shot because of that whole messenger thing. So what's the message? Oh, I forgot about the message. Well, April says, um... She says... Uh... She says, keep that upper lip stiff, trooper. Really? That's what she said? Uh, no. No, I can't remember what she said. Point is, we're breaking you out. Shh, not so loud. They'll hear you. How do you plan to do that? That's where you come in. April needs you to use your investigative skills. In other words, it's your move, baby. Baby? Okay, <laughs> I'll try my best. Let's see, there's not much here. That's Crow. He's here with April to rescue me. Good old Crow. I'll wait here while you put that oversized human brain to work. The cell door is locked. There's a hatch, but it only opens from the outside. Hey! Hello! Open up! What's the bloody racket? You're giving me a bloody headache. But it's so dark in here, and I'm uh, feeling a bit claustrophobic. Cluster what? I don't like enclosed spaces. Would you mind leaving the hatch open? It'll make me feel better. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Deary me, we can't have you feeling bad, can we? After all, this ain't jail. It's a bloody holiday resort, innit? it? <laughs> no. Please, I'll be very grateful. How grateful? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. How grateful do you... Will you sing me a song? A uh, song? Yeah. A jingle. A ditty. A rhythmic series of musical notes. Like me mum used to. I guess. I can do that. Yes. Yes, I can sing you a song. Later. Thanks ever so much. I'll just leave the hatch open then, shall I? And I'll come back later, right? For that ditty. Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, well. That definitely could have gone a lot worse. The door's bolted and locked from the outside. Even if I could reach that bolt, I wouldn't be able to lift it. <laughs> Crow is humming. I don't know if this will help, but it's a start. I got the guard to leave the hatch and the door open, and I can see the bar that keeps the door bolted. It's locked, and even if I could reach it, I wouldn't be able to move it. But maybe you or April can figure something out. That's what we're here for, figuring things out. Also rescuing you, of course. For me, it's mostly the last one, not so much the former. Anyways, I'll fly down and tell April. She'll know what to do, I'm sure. She's the brains of the outfit. Also the brawls. I'm just the wings and the beak. Did you find her? I did, and she's doing fine. They haven't beheaded her yet. I think. 
Can they reattach your head after cutting it off? <laughs> no. Did you find anything in the cell we can use to get her out of there? The hatch in the door is open. Zoe says the door is locked from the outside with a metal bar. There's a guard, but he's not very attentive. Right. So we need something to take care of that bolt and something to get rid of the guard. Any ideas? Magic's always a good answer. You can't go wrong with magic. That's my final answer. Magic. Magic won't work inside Friar's Keep. The stone walls work as a sort of magical jammer. But potions would still work. That's chemistry, not magic. And I know where to get potions. Roper clacks. Wait here, Crow. Alrighty. I'll keep my eye on the tower in case anything, uh, happens. Alright. Once more, we will enlist the help of Mr. Clax. Someone lives here. No doubt driven out of their home by the Azadi. Everything is the Azadi's fault with April. Crab Ben used to be a lively neighborhood, but all the non-humans have been forcibly moved to Old Town and the streets completely deserted. You can't escape the Azadi steam machines. They're everywhere. Spice merchant? I think he sells spices, even though I can't see any. Why, hello there, Mom. What an absolutely wonderful day to be exploring the city. Still just as happy, it seems. Now you look like you need to spice up your life, eh? Get it? Eh? Spice? Life? Wonderful. <laughs> I don't care whether my customers are Azadi, Dolmari, Northlanders, Southlanders, or anything in between. They're all welcome. Fantastic! Last call for fresh fish today! Last call! I hear the Coruscant is negotiating with the Azadi for a treaty. We if got that happens, we got one there might finally be We're peace in the Northlands. I don't know how Irhad feels about the Azadi, but I'm sure they could work something out. We don't need another war. Now that the Tyrant are gone, there's finally Last hope of lasting for fresh peace. Fish today. In Last call. Hmm. So the Azadi still haven't made treaties with Coruscant or Irhad yet. The prices here are too steep. We do most of our business in Old Town. God, the new administration has introduced so many taxes and fees, it's hard to make ends meet down here. Southgate Market is definitely not what it used to be. I'm lucky if I see a dozen customers before noon. The added expenses and lack of customers is ruining me. Soon I'll have to find another way to make money. I'm not looking to buy anything from her. Rebel activity in the north has delayed deliveries, so I don't have much left to sell, I'm afraid. I don't care what people say. As long as the Azadi encourage fair trade, I'm happy. The Azadi will probably replace this well with one of their machines soon enough. This Azadi technology is spreading like a weed. Soon there will be machines attached to every building in Mercuria. Nothing much happens around here. Once in a while, a magical tries to leave the ghetto without permission, but that's about it. I'd actually prefer to go on a raid in the north rather than standing around here all day. I haven't killed anyone yet. But I definitely will. I mean, that's what us soldiers do, wasn't it? We kill the bad people. <laughs> it's a rather simple outlook. Alright, we're back in Old Town, and in the next video we will uh, seek out some potions from Roper Clacks.